What's going on guys, it's your boy Avionics, back with another video. Now, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and ring that notifications bell to be notified of new videos. So this is a Tesla related video again, and we are in my wife's Model Y. In this video, we're gonna take an in-depth look at the 15 inch touchscreen that we have here. So we're gonna take a look at all the different settings and everything that you can possibly do with um, this 15 inch touchscreen. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So when you first get into your vehicle, this is your default screen. So on the screen, you have your percentage battery life, or if you tap it, so right now it's at 66% battery power. If you actually tap it, you can get your range left. So we have 216 miles remaining or 66% battery remaining. Here we have your automatic high beams. It'll turn on when it's uh, there's no street lights around and it's dark at night. And then here we have our vehicle and we can open and um, our trunk and our front and lock and unlock our doors and open the, the charge port. Um, the front is not electronically able to be closed. The trunk can. Down here you have a little bit more information as media that's being played from your phone. And then here you have your recent, fa recent and favorites from the streaming radio that's available through the Tesla. And then you tap on this equalizer little button here and you can actually change your audio settings like tone. So here's your sub, bass, mid, treble, immersive sound. You can change your balance all the way around. I'll keep mine in the middle. Options, you can turn on DJ commentary if you want. It, it's, uh, it affects the streaming. Um, audio, explicit content, turn on or off. Affects streaming and title. And allow mobile control turn on and off and sources you can show or hide your media sources radio bluetooth streaming spotify karaoke tune in title apple music close that out i'm going to drop that down and then here we can lock and unlock our doors just by tapping that we have our clock tap on that so it's 10 17 a.m it has my phone and you can tap on calls contacts favorites messages it's like basically synced up with your with your phone and if you have my q wi-fi garage you can i have mine connected to my garage or my house so it'll automatically open when i approach the house up onto the driveway and it'll close as i drive away and then sentry mode is on so that's uh the or the recording also so that's why that red light is on here in my profile so it has my wife and then myself and then we have easy entry, valet mode, and driver profile settings. We're gonna back out of this. Uh, I'm gonna swipe down. So now here is the map, and you can actually drag anywhere around the map. Zoom in by pinching in, or I'm sorry, zoom out. And then to zoom in, you spread your fingers like that. And then you can type tap on the navigate bar and you can navigate to all your place type in an address here on the keyboard and your recents and then here over on this side you have your your wi-fi signal mine is connected to my house at the moment and then down here you have your compass if you tap on the compass it'll straighten you out and then if you tap on the globe it shows the actual satellite view tap on the street lights it'll show traffic and then if you tap oop, Tap on the GPL, the pointer, and then if you tap on the lightning bolt, it'll show you all the superchargers in town. So if you zoom out, you can see see them all. And then, so down here, you have your, your main menu by tapping on the car. Before we get into that, we're going to go over here to this, um, where it says 71 because that's your thermostat. And if you tap on that, that brings up all your climate controls. And then left and right over here will either cool down or decrease the temperature or increase the temperature. And then if it hits a split button, it'll split between the driver's side and the passenger side. So here I'm affecting just the driver's side. Here I can affect just the passenger side. And then if you tap on split again, now they're both synced up. Um, for all sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the AC or turn off the climate control that way the fan won't be blowing, or I'll just lower it. I'll turn off auto, power, but here, yeah, here's the power button. And then here's your auto button, you just tap it 
on and off. Here is your defrost for the front and the rear. AC, if you want it on, you tap it, turn it off, tap it again. Here is your fan control. So you're gonna have, go up or down. And the top is ma uh, max is uh, 10, speed 10. Here is uh, the circulation and then biohazard control, or biohazard mode. And then here you can actually schedule, the car will, if you press that again, this will, uh, the car will precondition by a certain time of day and you can set that. So like my wife has it set to precondition and warm up the vehicle and precondition the battery before she heads out to work. You hit settings and hit the I, it says set cabin, uh, climate and preheat battery by scheduled departure time if battery is above 20%. Off peak charging, schedule charging to complete during off peak hours to reduce energy costs. And here you can turn off or on the preconditioning we have it on for the weekdays when she goes to work and then down here you have a little um you have the keep mode keep climate mode enabled climate will stay on after you leave the car will turn off when battery reaches 20 percent okay and then you have dog mode so when you have dogs in the vehicle and you want to leave them unattended while you're running to a store uh, make sure you lock the doors and the climate and screen will stay on after you exit for pets never leave a child this is for pets. <laughs> Never leave a child unattended. And then you have camp mode enabled. Car will stay on until battery reaches 20%. Sentry mode, security alarm, and walk away lock will be disabled. So I'm going to turn all that off. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my climate control so you don't hear it. And then here you have um, the vents, which is over here to the left and to the right of the uh, screen. And if you pinch your fingers, you can um, adjust how it's flowing. You spread your fingers it'll make it further apart you tap on it and then you can you can actually point it up or down on these on these two sliders also as well and then same goes for the passenger side point it up or down but yeah same way and then here you have your steering wheel heat it'll warm up the steering wheel so you can heat up your hands and then you have your um, the windshield white heated windshield wipers as well so after that that's climate control down here you have um, your when you have your phone connected you can like I said you can see the music being played and then if you touch the middle the three dots that you could actually see the entire menu the icons you have your dash cam your energy if you want to take a look at the energy it's being consumed and everything. You have your calendar. You just sync up your calendar with your phone. Messages. Uh, you could actually do Zoom calls now with the latest update. And then you have theater. So you can watch Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, all this as long as you are in park. Arcade. You have some games here. So you go to theater, arcade, or toy box. So arcade. You can play games and all these games down here and you could actually use the, the scroll wheel and the buttons on a steering wheel to play or you could even actually hook up like an Xbox or PS controller to the USB port inside the glove box to be able to use the controller. Toy box, it shows like this one we have, Rainbow Road, push the gear stock down four times quickly when auto steer is engaged. Yes, the road is now a giant rainbow. Everyone needs more cowbell. So we actually have that turned on when we have auto steer engaged but here you have uh, some other in-app in or in-screen little mini games. You have Tracks, which is a like a music producer kind of game to make your own beats. Romance, it's the flame that never goes out. Experience romance, romance mode and stay parked all night long. Sketchpad, you could actually draw. Watch this. Oh, let's see here. I don't see anything. Oh, because it's in black. Choose red and you can like draw. We're just gonna clear that, yep. And go back. Mars. Transform your map to the surface of Mars. So now it looks like that. You have like a little ro land rover going on. Uh, go to Santa. You're going to, instead of this vehicle you, you see on the map, you're going to see Santa in a sleigh with reindeer. And then Rainbow Road, which we already talked about. Go back over here. The toy box. And... If you go all, where is it? Here. 
um, emissions, scroll back over past, back towards tracks, the emissions testing mode, which is uh, the farting. So you could actually choose the seat that you want to go to and simulate some farting. And here you can choose the different fart sounds. Fart on demand by pressing the left scroll wheel on the steering wheel. Fart on turn signal, so you can just toggle those on if you wanted to. Boom box, entertain a crowd with your media player when parked. You can also adjust the sounds your car makes. Please check local laws before use in public spaces. So you can play current media. Um, and this is all in park mode. Megaphone. Play current media. So there is a speaker outside of the car to be able to do your emissions test and you know fart around public people horn sound replace horn and then the light show it'll do the music and all the lighting um, when you put it on park and just kind of watch it from the outside and the colorizer customize the color of your car's exterior on here so my wife has it set to this pink color and then this one is the streaming audio so here you can scroll through all the streaming audio available through your tesla vehicle and just tap on something to uh, start playing. And then if you hear, if you press this one, this is the all the cameras. You can view all the cameras of the rear view, the left view, and then the right view. And now we're going back to the main steer, uh, the main menu in the settings. So if you tap on controls, here you can change your headlights. So right now we can turn off the headlights, parking lights on, full on, um, auto and then the auto high beams here you can fold you can fold your mirrors by tapping this tap it back to open it up child lock for both left or right we're gonna do we're gonna do both or you know, I have a child so we're gonna do uh, both window lock you can lock your windows by just tapping that glove box you can open the glove box by tapping that or you know using the voice command on the right scroll wheel button on the steering wheel but if you press it again it won't actually close it you have to manually close it here you can set your uh, wipers on to level speed one oops speed two speed three four auto auto is nice because um uh, i leave it on auto so it'll sense the the the, the speed Setting it to auto will automatically detect how much rain and it'll adjust the speed according to how much rain is being rained when your car is being rained on. Here, um, the mirrors, you would adjust your mirrors and it says use the left scroll wheel to adjust your side mirrors. Tap the left to cont uh, control the left, tap the right to control the right. Mirror auto tilt, toggle on or off. Uh, mirror auto fold, I have mine toggled on. Mirror auto dim, I have it toggled on go back recording it'll record to the USB stick that's in the glove box um, and then steering you can you can uh, use the left scroll wheel on the steering wheel to adjust your steering column so use using that you can go up out in down and then sentry mode um, toggle on or off we have it set to on and then this is your uh, display brightness we leave it on auto Going down next is pedals and steering, and here you can choose chill, acceleration, or the standard mode. Steering mode, you have comfort, standard, and sport. Just tap on it. Stopping mode, you can have creep, roll, or hold. And we, I keep mine on hold. Maximizes range by extending regenerative braking to lower speeds and automatically blends in brakes to hold the vehicle at a stop. Here you have a toggle switch for apply brakes when regenerative braking is limited. I can pause that and take a look and read on how that works. Otherwise, we'll move on to off-road assist. Off-road assist adjusts traction control to optimize performance off-road. Some autopilot safety features such as automatic emergency braking and lane departures are not available when off-road assist is enabled. And then slip start used to help free vehicle used to help free the vehicle stuck in snow, sand, or mud. I'm in Las Vegas, so I don't need that. Going down is the next, and that's it for that one. So going down to the next one is charging. And here you can see how much battery power is left. Uh, and then how much, like in a meter version, open you can open the charge port by tapping that on, or tapping that button. And you can close it again 
by tapping it and it closes it. Oops, go back over there, charging. And then charge current at this location so you can adjust the amp. So I keep it at 48, scrolling down, schedule charge uh, start at this location, and then you can um, set the time and it actually shows your last paid charging session, $16.78 at the supercharger. And has, if you click on supercharging tips, here's, you can pause that screen to read a little bit more about that. Moving on, tap on autopilot and now you have um, some of the auto pilot, auto steer settings. So we actually have the auto steer beta toggled on, full self-driving visualization, you can toggle on or off. So, enabling full self-driving visualization preview displays additional objects in the driving visualization, which include traffic lights, stop signs, selected road markings, and obstacles. The traffic light and stop sign visualizations are not a substitute for an attentive driver and will not stop the car. Do you want to enable full self-driving visualization preview? Yes. Here you can set your speed. When you, when you engage autopilot, the cruising speed will be set to the following. Speed limit of the road adjusted by the offset specified or the current driving speed, whichever is greater, current speed, current driving speed. We do not have the autopilot feature, we just have the standard default auto steer. You know, you can actually purchase that upgrade down here and it'll over the air download the full $15,000 feature, but we don't need that. Going down here, we have offset, fixed percentage. When set speed is set, when set speed is speed limit, one of the following offsets can be applied to the detected speed limit. Fixed, apply a fixed speed offset for all roads. Percentage, apply a percentage offset that varies based on the speed limit of the road. Then here you would um, increase or decrease the miles per hour for that. Scrolling down, automatic blind spot camera, we have that turned on. Show side repeater camera when turn signal is engaged and that you would actually see that up here and you could actually move it. So let's see here, right there. It's a little example. Blind spot collision warning chime. Yes, we want that on. Speed limit warning, you can have it off on the display or just a chime. We want the, dis we want the display speed limit, relative or absolute. And then um, you can have your offset. Scrolling down, we have forward warning collision. You have off, late, medium, and early. Lane departure avoidance will warn or assist with corrective steering when your vehicle starts to drift out of the lane without a turn signal. Whether you use this safety feature or not, you must always pay attention and maintain control because it cannot prevent every lane departure. We have ours just to off, and then toggle switches for emergency lane departure avoidance, automatic emergency braking, obstacle aware acceleration, traffic aware cruise control chime, and green traffic light chime. And those are very convenient, so we leave those on. All right, that's it for that one. So let's go down to locks. So here it shows all the keys. We have the two key cards, one for me and one for my wife, and then my phone, and then her phone acts as also the phone key. And then scrolling down, we have child lock. We have set to both. You can just set it to left or right, just like the previous screen and controls. Window lock, so it's a little bit more uh, in depth on these two features. Walk away door lock, we like to have toggled on automatically locks doors and trunks when leaving with a phone or key fob you can also tick the exclude home if you wanted to toggle switches for driver door unlock mode when enabled the driver door and charge port will unlock when the key is detected near the driver's side of the vehicle holding down the interior driver door button will unlock the rest of the vehicle and then um, toggle switch for unlock on park car left open not notifications a mobile notification will be sent after 10 minutes if the front, the trunk, or any door is left open or if the vehicle is left unlocked unexpectedly. If the vehicle is locked, a notification will be sent if any window is open shortly after leaving the vehicle. To avoid leaving windows partially open, pull the window switch all the way up. Exclude home. Notifications will not be sent when the vehicle is at home. And then um, lock confirmation sound. We have it toggled on and then my queue connected garage this is where you would go ahead and connect with your garage door so it can open and close um, it within proximity and here you can set the auto open when arriving the feet the distance from the myq um, motor auto close when leaving toggle switch and auto fold mirrors and it'll basically fold the mirrors as you pull in 
and then you can close the garage by tapping this or tap up here and we're like in front of it so it's not going to show and then also you can toggle on a chime on auto open and auto close going down the lights it's a little bit more in depth than in where we had it in controls so same thing here front fog you can turn that on or off on dome lights you can have on off on or auto when you open the doors you could also turn them on with the voice commands ambient lights uh, I actually haven't seen what the ambient lights actually do but you can toggle it on or off there auto turn signals auto cancel your turn signals will automatically turn off after a merge fork or lane change has been completed if the vehicle detects an upcoming turn or another lane change in the same direction the turn signal will not turn off until the maneuver is complete note turn signals will cancel based on steering angle regardless of the selected setting for automatic turn signal mode so scrolling down you have your auto high beam which you have set to on headlights after exit and then a toggle switch for steering wheel lights which is basically it'll uh the the arrow is basically a backlit um light click on display you can have light so it's basically all white dark or auto it'll change the time of the day we, i like to have it at dark and then here you have another brightness level so you can move the slider and then you also have an auto button screen clean mode so if you toggle that on now you can clean the touchscreen with a soft cloth designed for monitors and displays do not use cleaners wet wipes or dry statically charged materials hold this right here to exit exit in three two one all right going down you have touchscreen language if you want to show a different language uh, voice recognition language recognizes commands in this language voice navigation language you can change that as well to english uh, spanish or french and it'll speak instructions in this language time you can have it to 12 hour or the 24 hour military clock energy display you can show in percentage or distance but like i said you can tap on here anyways as a little shortcut distance you can do miles or kilometers temperature show it in celsius or fahrenheit and then tire pressure if you want to see a bar or actual psi going down to trips it'll show all your current trip and tripometers and distance and durations and aver average energy since last charge through miles so yeah just a little bit more information on uh, trips and your odometer tap on the navigation and here you can adjust the navigation volume of the voice that talks oops Let's go back here. Automatic navigation, toggle switch. Automatically route to home, work, or next calendar event upon entry. You've got a toggle switch for trip planner. Add supercharger stops if necessary. A toggle switch for online routing. Finds optimal route based on traffic conditions. Reroute to save. You can adjust the time for that. And then we have toggle switches for avoid ferries, avoid tolls, and use HOV lanes. Tap on safety. Now we get into sentry mode here at the top. Let's read a little bit more about that. So sentry mode uses the vehicle sensors and external cameras to detect and notify you when there is suspicious activity or a significant threat to your vehicle when parked. If a threat is detected, such as someone leaning on the car, sentry mode will flicker the headlights, display a message on the touchscreen indicating that the cameras are recording, and save the footage of the event to your USB drive, which is inside the glove compartment. Sentry mode footage is not transmitted to Tesla for significant threats, such as a window break-in. The vehicle will also send an alert to the mobile app paired with the car activate the security alarm and generate a loud unexpected sound from the audio system additional power battery power is consumed while sentry mode is active to enable sentry mode battery level must be greater than 20 percent please note that it is your sole responsibility to consult and comply with all local regulations and property restrictions regarding the use of the cameras so here you can toggle on or off you can take these for exclude home work or exclude favorites um, you have toggle switches for camera based detection disable sentry sounds and view live camera via the mobile app here the dash cam settings tap on that it'll save up to 10 minutes of video to a usb automatically when your vehicle detects the occurrence of a safety event such as an accident or airbag deployment close that out you can pause that to read more about that so you off manual or auto and then you have an on honk setting too and here is a button for delete dash cam clips and here's a, bu a button for formatting the usb drive scroll up or down however you, which way you want to go we have a toggle switch for allow mobile access which yes i like to do i can watch from my phone the cameras 
but you can set a pin to drive. You can actually set a pin to open the glove box and then a toggle switch for speed limit mode, which you can, basically it's a limiter and it'll limit, you won't go faster than 80 miles per hour. This is more for like, if you have one of your, uh, young, your young adult children driving, you want to limit their, their speeds and then scrolling, cabin overheat protection, pause on that to read a little bit more about that. This is probably good for um, in the summer, like if you live in Arizona, New Mexico, or, or Nevada, it'll automatically basically cool down the inside of the car if the um, temperature exceeds over 100 degrees. So you, of course it's gonna use a little bit more battery power, but yeah, it's gonna auto automatically kind of cool down. Be sure to have enough battery power to be able if you're going to use that and then you can set your your temperature if you wanted uh, you know 90 95 or 100 and then off no ac or on and then security alarm is defaulted toggle on joe mode enabling joe mode reduces the volume of your car's chimes the quieter chimes continue to alert the driver effectively and minimize disruption to pass passengers in the rear seats and then here you have, you can also select a gear on the steering column, parking brake, uh, if you want to, uh, brake is on, foot must be on the brake pedal. There we go. Press for park brake. Okay. So basically that's the manual way of um, setting the emergency brake, but it's also, um, it's also automatic. So here you can actually um, manually power up the vehicle if you don't have your phone key set up with your phone so this is how you would power off uh, if you have your phone key linked as, you, as soon as you close the door and take your phone with you after about 15 20 30 seconds walking away it's going to automatically lock the vehicle and shut off all right service so here we have uh this shows your tire pressure on all four it shows what it should be front psi should be 42 same as the rear here you can tap here to to check the owner's manual and read more about that all right going back here safety what was that service car wash mode so car wash mode closes all windows locks to charge for and disables windshield wipers sentry mode walk away door locks and parking sensor chimes for automatic car washes with conveyor belts the free roll option shifts to neutral and prevents the parking brake from automatically applying if you leave car wash mode will exit if the vehicle speed exceeds 10 miles an hour so this is a good feature to have um, when you uh, go to the car wash and make sure you go to the touchless car wash that's your tip your number one tip of this video do not take your Tesla to one of the brush car washes go to a touchless car wash adjust headlights you can actually it's um, change the angle but I'm just gonna leave everything at default it says use the left scroll wheel to adjust your headlights Headlights should only be adjusted by trained service technicians, so we shouldn't even be touching this, but yeah, you can control your left or your right. Towing. So here, towing. Tow using a flatbed or comparable transport. Enable transport mode to facilitate winching. Do not transport with any wheels on, that, on the ground. This can lead to significant damage and overheating. Car must be in park with the brake pedal pressed to enable transport mode. So make sure if you're getting towed to turn that on. All right, there's a lot here wheel and tire configuration changing your wheel configuration will impact your car's estimation of range tire pressure warning levels and the car visualization so here if you're changing out your rims to um, Tesla rims you get you can set tune it to that tire and wheel combination so it'll automatically adjust for the range and everything and you can get the exact range you're gonna get otherwise it does affect your range by changing rims even aftermarket so that's a little FYI tip as well. And then if you hit the tires, run this configuration after each tire rotation or replacement to optimize your drive. Select tire stagger, select tire season, and then you would update and confirm the settings. Notifications. We have just alerts, active alerts earlier today. And it's just a little, um, you know, whether the door is open, the brakes were, the headlights were on, Auto steer temporarily unavailable. It's a little history of just some alerts. Going back to camera calibration. I'm not actually gonna do this, but clearing the autopilot camera calibration will reset the calibrated camera positions and angles stored on the autopilot computer. This procedure should only be performed if the cameras have been moved due to a windshield or camera replacement. Clearing calibration will result in a 
no autopilot features until the system recalibrates, which may take up to 100 miles of driving on roads with highly visible lane lines. And when you first purchase a Tesla vehicle, when you leave the dealership, it's gonna automatically go into calibration mode, so it'll be able to detect lanes and cars. So you won't actually see anything until probably, you know, after a set number of miles and it'll be able to detect everything. Driver seat, steering and mirrors calibration. This procedure calibrates the driver's seat, steering column, and mirrors. The driver's seat will move all the way back and down, so make sure there's nothing behind or underneath the seat. To stop seat calibration, adjust any seat control. If the calibration was interrupted or failed due to obstruction, retry to restore full functionality. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Clear browser data. Clearing browser data will delete all cookies, ca uh, cache site data, and login data from the web browser. Factory reset. You would actually reset like a computer or your phone, but we're not actually going to do that. But yeah, you can. That's for good for uh, selling if you're selling your vehicle. And then wiper service mode. It puts it in service mode to be able to replace the blades. And I don't know if you can see it from the screen, um, but the windshield wipers did move up about a few inches. Tap that to set them back down. And then here, need Tesla roadside assistance? Call that number. All right, going down to software. Here we have information on your vehicle, Model Y, long range dual motor, shows your odometer, shows your nickname, the color picked from the color visor, your VIN, which I have blurred out, autopilot computer, full self-driving computer, additional vehicle information, a little bit more information on that, autopilot, included package, which is just auto steer, premium connectivity, we did sign up for that, so it, auto, it tells you when it's gonna auto renew, the software version number and all that and then software update preference I have it set to advanced but it will regularly receive over-the-air software updates that add new features and enhance existing functionality select advanced if you'd like to receive new software updates as soon as they become available for its configuration note the latest software version will vary based on vehicle configurations including hardware and geography so you can choose standard well it will where it will actually notify you that there is an update or advanced basically auto updates. Privacy, uh, just data sharing with Tesla. We are working hard to improve autonomous safety features and make self-driving a reality for you. Go ahead and pause that if you'd like, but you know, if, if you agree to Tesla to get some analytics, this is where you can decline or accept. And then you just hit the submit button or you can just skip it and ignore it. Upgrades. Here you can actually purchase the full self-driving capability subscription over the air. Here it's $199, for that one, $199 a month subscription and you'll be able to navigate on autopilot, auto lane change, auto park, summon and traffic light and stop sign control. It says coming later this year, auto, auto steer on city streets. Auto park summon and smart summons will be temporarily limited on your vehicle during the transition to Tesla Vision. Here so you would swipe to subscribe to that. And then also, so the, the last thing I'm gonna show you, I think we've basically gone over everything. Um, we have this here, your volume control, you can either slide and then you can go back to this screen. But that's pretty much it. And also it shows your passenger airbag. So you could also tap that to um, bring up the mo uh, owner's manual. So that's pretty much it for the 15 inch touchscreen of the Model Y. Now this would also pertain to the Model S as I'm sorry, not Model S, the Model 3. I'm not so sure if everything is the same for the Model S and the Model X, probably not. Probably a little bit more advanced, but for the most part, this is everything that you're gonna see in the Model 3 and the Model Y. All right, so we're coming to a close on this in-depth video of the 15-inch touchscreen that you'd find on the Model Y and the Model 3. Everything would be pretty much the same. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. Leave all your comments and thoughts down below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified of new videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys.